In this video, we're going to show you how to import figures into an Overleaf project and also how to insert MATLAB code into a LaTeX document. As we go through more complicated homework examples throughout this course, you'll see there's often situations where you'll have to mix complex mathematical equations with actual output from MATLAB files and graphs. So LaTeX is a good way of doing that because the LiveScript editor in MATLAB really doesn't cut it when you're writing math types or when you're trying to typeset math. So let's suppose that you've just worked out a problem in MATLAB where you've solved a differential equation using OD45 like we learned yesterday and you've produced this plot which you want to now put into a homework solution. The first thing you're going to do is click on export and then you're going to save that image. I think the easiest thing to do is save it as a JPEG although if you have EPS option that uh, postscript options that's also a good one to do. So we'll save this as test fig and save it to a location where you'll be able to find it later. For now I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Then go into Overleaf, log in, and open up a new project. We'll use a blank project. We'll save it as sample. And you'll see after everything loads that you get this typical type screen where you have your LaTeX document code and you have the output on the right. Now in the first video on Overleaf we sort of ignored this left screen, this file editor, but now we're going to focus on that because the first step we want to do is we want to upload that figure file from before into, into Overleaf. You can either drag that file directly or navigate to where you saved it on your computer. For example, I saved mine on my desktop. We're going to open up that file and now it will be available in your directory. Once we've saved that file, the next step is we're going to want to insert it as a part of our document. And to do that, you're going to need the graphic X package. If you have problems inserting a figure or you come across errors, Probably the first thing to check is if you remember to include this comma graphic X command in the use package in the package list at the beginning of your document in the preamble. After you've done that, we're going to go down here to our body, go to the navigate to the place in the document where you want to insert, and just do include graphics. The include graphics command has two inputs. The first inside the square brackets is a size command. So the size can either be a scaling command. For example, if I want the figure to appear in my document as half of its original size, I would put scale equals 0.5. Scale should always be a number between 0 and 1, of course. And usually, I find that this is the best way to control for the size. You just try out some values and see what kind of looks best. And then inside the curly brackets, you're going to want to put the name of the file you'd like to include in your output. It's very important that, that this file name, by the way, not have any spaces in it or that will produce some funkiness in the output on the right. So after we've done that, we're going to hit recompile or control enter. And now you see your figure appears in the output at on the right. Now if you want to also submit the code you use to generate this figure, then you have to create a verbatim environment within LaTeX. What the verbatim environment does is it tells LaTeX to ignore any formatting of anything entered in between the begin and end verbatim commands and just print it as is in the output. So I'm going to navigate back to MATLAB for a minute. I'm going to copy my code and I'm just going to paste it inside this verbatim environment here within MATLAB. So when we recompile Notice now that my code shows up first and my figure second. They're not on the same page, probably because it's big. Also notice there was an extra space there in my verbatim, which I'm going to get rid of. And maybe I'll scale my figure down to, I don't know, 0.3 and see if that will fit on the same page now. And voila, it does. Maybe I could do this a little bit bigger. But basically now you have an idea about, about how to insert both code and figures into your LaTeX documents.